For staying with us here in the big show, the Infinity Science Center is a nonprofit science museum that provides guests with quality, fun, and an amazing learning experience. And joining us now to discuss some of the summer programming, we have educator Stephen Cuthards with us. Stephen, first of all, folks haven't been out to Infinity out there on the other side of the interstate from Stennis Space Center. I mean, it's a beautiful place, and there's so much to do and so much to learn. Uh, yes, there is. We have uh, two floors. Uh, all of our space stuff is in our space gallery on the second uh, floor. The bottom floor is what we call the Earth Gallery, where we uh, talk all about Earth sciences. We have a simulator that's included uh, on that floor as well. Yeah, and it's great because of the synergy between that story of space and what happens across the interstate over at Stena Space Center, where for so many years they've been so intimately involved with NASA. Uh, yes, sir. We, uh, we are a, a uh, partner with NASA. We do host a lot of their artifacts, such as the Apollo 4 command capsule. And uh, we have the uh, Saturn V booster rocket on the outside of the building. Uh, yeah, yeah you got to go stand next <laughs> to that thing just to see how big it is. Yeah. And then just imagine uh, those Apollo missions. Uh, incredible. So you have summer camps for kids 7 to 15 years old coming up. Uh, yes, we have two weeks of Astro Camp for ages 7 to 11. Uh, that will be June uh, 12th through the 16th and June 19th through the 23rd. And then we have Artemis Camp for ages 12 to 15. That is going to be June 12th through the 16th. And then we have our Nexus Robotics Camp in partnership with the Naval Research Laboratory. That's also going to be June 12th through the 16th. And Artemis, you see there, the Artemis group, of course, that's the current mission NASA is working on, and the RS-25 engines are being tested at Stennis to take uh, humans back to the moon and then eventually to Mars. Uh, that robotics class should also be uh, very cool. And ki they do the students or the kids involved have to be from the coast or what are the rules? Uh, geography? Are there any? Not necessarily, although we do get a lot of uh, kids from the Louisiana since we're right next door, yeah, basically. Yeah, I would think so. Uh, but we have had uh, at least a couple of campers came all the way from uh, Alabama last year. Okay, and it's so important, science, math, I mean, we keep hearing about STEM, technology, how America, it's so important that uh, the next generation is uh, educated and up to speed with all of this technology, right? Uh, yes, uh, technology is moving at a lightning pace, so uh, the more we can educate the younger generation on that, uh, they're not going to have to play catch up as much as me or you have. So. And as we're seeing here, there's a simulator, so th yeah. that looks, I'd love to get behind that yeah. simulator, actually. What are, they, what are they flying and landing in there? I'm not, not sure? entirely sure which oh, one. That, okay. Oh, that is the spatial simulator that's unfortunately no longer. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, we dragged out some old yeah. video. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but you make the education fun, and that's what Yes, that's what we do. We try to make it fun and engaging so that they can um, learn. We hope to inspire, amaze, and engage the next generation of scientists and engineers. Okay, well, go to the Infinity Science Center website. You can find out more about these fantastic summer camps. Stephen Cruthers, thanks so much for stopping by the 4 o'clock show and being with us this afternoon. All right.